In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at some examples of multiplying a monomial by, first of all, another monomial, or a monomial by a binomial, and the last three are monomials times trinomials. So the first two are two monomials multiplied together. So 4x and 6x, they're both monomials. Monomials means there's one term, like 4x is one term, 6x is another monomial term. And when we multiply these, uh, so first of all, we multiply the coefficients, the 4 and the 6. So 4 times 6 is 24. And this uh, x times x is x squared. You see there's two x's multiplied here. So instead of writing 24x times x, we write it as x squared. Uh, the power rule for multiplying powers with the same base. If you don't see an exponent, then these are both 1. So 1 and 1 adds to 2. That's another way you can get that it's x squared. So, so that's why we get 24x squared. Uh, similar in number two here, uh, we're going to multiply the coefficients together. So negative five times the seven is negative 35. And then there's just a single x squared here. There's no x to multiply it, so it's just going to be negative 35 x squared. In number three, uh, we're multiplying the negative eight into the brackets here. And a word you'll hear used sometime is it's said to distribute into the brackets. That means we're multiplying the negative 8 by both terms in the brackets, or all terms if there's more than two, like there are in the last three examples here. So negative 8 times 4x would be negative 32x. And negative 8 times negative 5 is plus 40. Now, at the beginning, some students are, aren't sure, well, I, I just said negative 5, but they'll say, isn't that a subtract 5? Okay, how are you treating those the same thing? So I want to show this, so I'm going to rewrite this down. I got this negative 8 here, and we got 4x. So instead of writing subtract 5 after the 4x, another way to write that is it's plus negative 5. So this is why we can think of that. Whoops, that was not very good. Well, okay, that's supposed to be a 5. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. There we go. We'll fix that. There we go. That's better 5. So negative 8 times the 4x, uh, again, gives us the negative 32x. I'm not really talking about this part so much. But you see, instead of writing subtract 5, we can write it as plus negative 5. So when I multiply the negative 8 by the negative 5, that is a positive 40. Now, this is a plus here, so this is a positive 40. And we, we don't need to write plus a positive 40 because adding a positive is the same as just adding that 40. So we don't need the second plus sign. So we can just write as negative 32x plus 40. So that's how you can treat that subtract 5 as a negative 5. It's really just negative 8 times negative 5 is 40. Okay, next one in uh, number four, uh, we're going to distribute the 5q into the brackets. So 5q times 3q is 15, and q squared, again, a q times a q is a q squared, and 5q times 2, 5 times 2 is 10, and there's a single q in that product, so it's just 10q. For question number uh, five up here at the top, the 3x will distribute into the brackets. So 3 times 2 is 6, and x times x squared is x cubed. See, there's actually an exponent of 1 there, so 1 and 2 add to 3. So, and, and again, like I said before, this is actually two x's multiplied together. That's what x squared means. When I say two x's, I'm not talking about that two. Uh, x squared means two x's multiplied. See, the non-power way to write two x squared is you could write it as 2x times another x. But we don't write x times x, we write x squared. So when we multiply this, see that's why there's an x here, and there's two more here, so that's why there's three of them all together. So it's x cubed multiplied. And then 3x times negative 7x is minus 21x squared on the end afterwards. Uh, for number 6, the uh, 9 is going to get distributed into the brackets. So 9 times w squared would be 9w squared. And then 9 times negative 3w. 9 times negative 3 is negative 27, so it would be negative 27w. And 9 times 5 on the end is 45, so plus 45. 
for uh, in number 7 here, the r is going to be distributed into the bracket. So r times 3r squared will be 3r cubed. Again, r times r squared is r cubed. Uh, r times the negative 6r will be minus 6r squared. Again, there's an r here and another r here. So that's why this is r squared. Two r's multiplied. And r times the 2 is 2 plus 2r. Two uh, for number 8 on the end here, uh, 2x times x squared is 2x cubed. And then we distribute in here and multiply the 2x by the negative 10x in the middle. So that would be minus 20x squared. And lastly, 2x times the 3 is plus 6x. 2 times 3 is 6. And there's a single x in that product, so that's why it's 6x on the very end. And that's the end of the tutorial.